In a universe filled with unanswered questions, every so often something emerges that challenges everything we think we know. A mystery so strange, so unexpected, that it forces astronomers, scientists, and even skeptics to stop and reconsider our place in the cosmos. This is one of those mysteries. Welcome to Cosmic Waves, stories about space, the future, and humanity's next step beyond Earth. Right now, something unusual is happening out there in deep space. Something we were never really prepared to deal with. An object from far beyond our solar system has slipped into our cosmic neighborhood, and astronomers have named it 3I Atlas. But over the months we've observed it, a strange pattern has started to form. The more we learn about this thing, the more it feels like we might not be the ones doing the observing. There's evidence suggesting this mysterious object may have been aware of our solar system long before we even knew it existed. And all of this became much harder to ignore when a set of photographs taken under nearly perfect observing conditions revealed something that defies every explanation we currently have. But to understand how bizarre this gets, we need to go back to the moment this whole puzzle began to unravel. To start, let's look at a set of images captured in one of the darkest places on Earth, the deserts of Namibia. This region is known among astrophotographers for having incredibly stable air and almost zero artificial light. During a lunar eclipse, when Earth's shadow blocks sunlight from reflecting off the moon, the night sky becomes as dark as physics allows. Under conditions like that, the universe is practically an open book. The photographers could have turned their telescopes toward any galaxy or nebula they wanted. Instead, they aimed at 3I Atlas, and what appeared in those long exposure images was startling. The entire object glowed a vivid, electric green. Now, green comets aren't unheard of, but everything about this object makes that color a scientific contradiction. According to what we know, 3I Atlas should not be green, not even a little. To understand why, we have to talk about comet chemistry for a moment. Typical comets turn green when ultraviolet radiation from the sun hits molecules of diatomic carbon, C2. When C2 gets excited by sunlight, it fluoresces bright green. This is a routine, well-understood chemical process. We've seen it countless times. But here's the twist. 3I Atlas barely contains any carbon chain molecules at all. Observations made using multiple large observatories, including spectroscopic data, showed that it has no measurable diatomic carbon, so the one ingredient needed for green fluorescence simply isn't there, yet it's glowing anyway. That's when scientists started looking at the rest of the material in the coma, the dusty atmosphere surrounding the object. And that's where things got even weirder. Instead of the usual mix of water vapor and some CO2, Atlas is loaded with huge amounts of carbon dioxide, far more than we normally see in comets, and significantly less water than expected. CO2 doesn't produce green light. It simply makes an object look bright, so that still doesn't explain the glow. But even stranger is what else is drifting around the object. Metal vapor, particularly nickel. Nickel absolutely can appear in comets, but for it to vaporize and form part of the coma, the comet must get incredibly close to the sun, close enough that temperatures rise high enough to boil metal. 3I Atlas was nowhere near the sun when nickel was detected. In fact, it was still in the cold region between Mars and Jupiter, where metal should be frozen solid. So why is nickel floating around it? Why is CO2 dominating its composition? Why is it shining green with no carbon chains? When you start lining up all of these anomalies, it becomes hard not to notice that metal-rich exhaust and carbon dioxide often appear together in a very specific place. Rocket engine plumes. High nickel alloys are commonly used in spacecraft engines. When those engines fire, nickel particles and CO2 can be ejected. Now that doesn't mean this is an alien spacecraft, but it does mean we're dealing with something that refuses to behave like a natural comet. But even all of that isn't the most shocking part. To understand the next piece of the story, we have to shift from what 3I Atlas is made of, to how it's moving. And this is where things start to cross into territory that scientists genuinely struggle to explain. Ever since 3I Atlas was first spotted back in early May, astronomers have been monitoring its movement with incredible precision. And that's because, under normal circumstances, a comet behaves nothing like a solid, predictable object. Instead, comets act more like giant, leaky engines drifting through space. As they get closer to the sun, the ice on their surface heats up, turning into gas that bursts outward in small jets. These jets act like tiny thrusters, pushing the comet around in random, unpredictable ways. This constant drifting and wobbling is so common that astronomers have a name for it, non-gravitational acceleration, or NGA. But 3I Atlas doesn't do any of that. 
Instead of wobbling, shifting, or drifting, it moves almost as if it's fixed to an invisible rail. While other interstellar visitors, objects just like it, show dramatic changes in their paths, Atlas barely budges at all. Take 2 Iborisov, for example. It shifted by nearly 100 kilometers every single day due to these gas jets. Even Hale-Bopp, one of the largest comets ever discovered, moved around by about 10 kilometers a day. And then there's Oumuamua, the first interstellar object we ever detected. Some days, its path shifted by over 1,000 kilometers. That's how wild, non-gravitational acceleration normally is. But 3i Atlas, it shows a variation of only about 1.5 kilometers per day that is unbelievably stable, especially for an object that is clearly sublimating and releasing gas. By every rule of comet physics, Atlas should be moving around far more than it does. And that's what makes it so strange. Its trajectory isn't just smooth, it's almost perfect. Too straight, too steady, too controlled. It gives the impression of something that isn't just drifting, but something maintaining its path on purpose. Now, again, this doesn't mean there's a steering mechanism, but natural explanations are thinning out quickly. And this leads to the strangest connection of all, one that takes us almost 50 years into the past. To connect this final piece, we need to travel back to 1977, when astronomers at Ohio State University were monitoring deep space for unusual signals. On one summer night, their receiver detected a powerful, narrowband radio transmission coming from the direction of the constellation Sagittarius. The signal lasted 72 seconds. It came through at a frequency of 1420 megahertz, which just happens to be the natural emission frequency of neutral hydrogen, the most important and most abundant element in the universe. If an intelligent species wanted to send out a universal hello across the galaxy, 1420 megahertz is exactly where they'd broadcast. When the astronomer on duty saw the unusual spike in the data printout, he circled it and wrote one word in the margin, wow. This became known as the wow signal, and no one has ever been able to explain it. Fast forward to today, when astronomers trace the path of 3i Atlas backward, they found something striking. Its origin appears to line up with the same general region of space where the WOW signal came from. And more intriguingly, in the year 1977, 3i Atlas would have been entering the outer edge of our solar system, right around the distance where a transmission could feasibly reach us without being drowned out by solar noise. Does this mean the WOW signal came from 3i Atlas? There is no evidence that proves that but there is equally no evidence disproving it, and that's what makes this object so unnerving. So here's where everything finally comes together. 3. I Atlas is glowing a color no object with its chemistry should be able to produce. The green light it gives off simply doesn't match any natural explanation we currently have. On top of that, it's releasing metal vapor, specifically nickel, even though it has never been close enough to the sun for metal to heat, melt, or vaporize. That alone is a major red flag. Then we look at its internal makeup. The chemical ratios inside its coma don't line up with any known comet in our solar system. It has too much carbon dioxide, not enough water, and none of the carbon chain molecules that should be responsible for its glow. In other words, its composition looks engineered, not accidental. But even stranger than its chemistry is its movement. Instead of drifting and wobbling the way real comets do when they're ice sublimates, 3i Atlas stays locked on an incredibly stable path, barely shifting at all. Natural comets get pushed around like they're being nudged by invisible jets. Atlas moves like it's on rails. And when we trace its path back across space, its origin appears to line up with the same region where the WOW signal, one of the most mysterious radio transmissions ever recorded, first appeared. That overlap is hard to ignore. Now, none of this proves 3i Atlas is artificial. There is no direct evidence that it's a machine, a probe, or anything designed, but none of it rules out that possibility either, not even close. And as this object travels deeper into our solar system, one feeling becomes harder and harder to shake. We may be witnessing something humanity has never seen before, something that could redefine our understanding of what exists out there. Because whatever 3i Atlas truly is, it's still coming.